Summit Camp is a research station close to the apex of the Greenland ice sheet. It is there because the island of Greenland is not only an important part of the climate chain, it is also an important indicator. When the climate changes on Greenland, it can indicate global changes. The objective of this video is to identify the potential impacts on East Greenland, its ice sheet and its glaciers of the temperature trends that are taking place across 65 degrees north latitude. We first briefly describe why we are doing this. December 5, 2022, this channel community published a video that concluded that North America could within just a few decades, undergo intolerable, harsh and freezing conditions. Just over two weeks later, North America did indeed experience harsh freezing conditions. Following further investigation, we released this video on December 8, 2022, which focused on the importance of 65 degrees north latitude. 65 degrees north latitude cuts across Alaska and northern Canada. It continues right around the world, across Greenland, Iceland, the Scandinavian Peninsula and Russia, and comes back around to Alaska. We previously explained that climate scientists recognise the general principle that when the temperature cools, in and around 65 degrees north, for whatever reason, then this can lead to glaciation of the surrounding areas. Such a process of glaciation is a dynamical process during which environmental changes gradually affect climate in a way that further promotes glaciation. We now wish to determine whether such a process is currently taking place in Greenland, which takes us to our objective and our method. The method we will use is to scan across 65 degrees north latitude with respect to the longitudes of the Greenland ice sheet in steps of 5 degrees longitude. For each step, we will record the temperature trend from January 2015 to November 2022. For any negative temperature trends discovered, we will trace back to the approximate start date of that trend. Finally, we will identify any impacts. Step 1. What are the longitudes of the East Greenland ice sheet? In our previous video, the scan ended at 101 degrees west. At that point, the scan detected no further negative trends until we reached 45 degrees west, which cuts Greenland into east and west. Transposing that to this well-delineated map, we will start the scan at 45 degrees west longitude and end the scan at 20 degrees west, which in effect covers the ice sheet of East Greenland and its glaciers. As can be seen, this covers a greater area than that of West Greenland. This is the 65 degrees north latitude along which the scan will run. We start the scan. At 45 degrees west, the temperature trend is minus 0 0.65 degrees Celsius per decade. The negative trend started from 2009. At 40 degrees west, the temperature trend is minus 0 0.95 degrees Celsius per decade. The trend started 2013. At 35 degrees west, the temperature trend is minus 0 0.7 degrees Celsius per decade. The negative trend started 2006. At 30 degrees west, the temperature trend is minus 1.23 degrees Celsius per decade. 
This trend started from 1999. At 25 degrees west, the rate of the temperature trend again increases to minus 1.55 degrees Celsius per decade. This trend started from the year 2000. At 20 degrees west, the rate of the temperature trend was much the same at minus 1.54 degrees Celsius per decade. The negative trend started from the year 2003. That brings us to the end of the scan. The first three steps have been completed. We now need to identify any impacts. Taken together, the steps of the scan had an average linear trend rate of minus 1.1 degrees Celsius per decade. We can use this chart of climate variability to determine potential impact. If the temperature along 65 degrees north latitude from 45 degrees west to 20 degrees west longitude continues to decrease at its present rate, then... In just one century, it will drop by 11 degrees Celsius. That would reduce the temperature on the East Greenland ice sheet to approximately what it was 12.5 thousand years ago and what it was 15 thousand years ago. When we see such an abrupt climate change as that projected, it is right to be cautious about such a projection and to wonder at the likelihood of such an abrupt climate change. There are even those that would laugh at such a projection and say it could not possibly happen. But such opinions must be tempered by the fact that such an abrupt drop in temperature in Greenland has happened before and under similar conditions. The similar conditions occurred at around this point, 12.5 thousand years ago. Global temperature and that of Greenland had been warming after the last glacial maximum, which is similar to the situation of East Greenland up until 1999. But then the Greenland and global temperature suddenly dropped. This event is known as the Younger Dryas and temperatures remained lower for over a thousand years. The return to the cold conditions took place within a few decades or less. This was much less time than the century currently projected and a significantly greater negative linear temperature trend than the present linear trend of East Greenland. This event was not some strange isolated incident that impacted only Greenland. The Younger Dryas was an event of global significance. It was clearly observed in New Zealand. So, to those that suggest that such a dramatic and abrupt drop in temperature is not possible, it has happened before in Greenland. It should also be noted that despite much research and numerous theories, the cause of the Younger Dryas event is still not known. Having completed the discussion of the projected impact, we now move on to demonstrate current and quite specific impacts on locations and glaciers within East Greenland. Our first location is Tassialak. This is a town in southeast Greenland. From January 2015 to November 2022, this location had a linear temperature trend of minus 0.95 degrees Celsius per decade. The negative trend started 2013. Scoresby Sund. Scoresby Sund is a large forward system of the Greenland Sea. It has a linear temperature trend of minus 0.61 degrees Celsius per decade. The trend started 2012. Summit Camp. What is the impact on Summit Camp and its researchers? Since January 2015, it has a linear temperature trend of minus 0. 
1.8 degrees Celsius per decade. This trend started 2010. Moving on to glaciers. Helheim Glacier. Helheim is the world of the dead in Norse mythology and it, from January 2015 to November 2022, had a linear temperature trend of minus 0.95 degrees Celsius per decade. The trend started in 2013. Kanga Luswak Glacier is the largest glacier on the East Greenland ice sheet. It has a linear temperature trend of minus 0.7 degrees Celsius per decade. The trend started as early as 2006. Our last glacier is this slightly obscure Mitivakat Glacier. It is located very close to 65 degrees north latitude. According to Wikipedia, the Mitivakat Glacier has been in retreat throughout most of recorded history. But not since January 2015, since when it has a linear temperature trend of minus 0.95 degrees Celsius per decade. And not since January 2013, since when it has a linear temperature trend of minus 0.1 degree Celsius per decade. We have now covered locations in the north, with Summit Camp at 70 degrees north and to the east with Scoresby Sund at 25 degrees west. But has there been an impact to the south of Greenland? That is south of 65 degrees north. Kak or Tork is at 60.7 degrees north, so well south of 65 degrees north. Its longitude is actually 46 degrees west, which puts it one degree outside our scan. But we checked, as it is a nice town in South Greenland. From January 2015 to November 2022, there was not a negative temperature trend. But a negative trend of minus 0 0.78 degrees Celsius per decade did start from January 2016. We have finished our list of the current impacts of 65 degrees north latitude on East Greenland. Now, a summary. Before going on to a final conclusion, we make this initial summary. The East Greenland ice sheet is projected to be in one century as cool as it was around 12,500 years ago if its linear average temperature trend continues at its present rate. The negative linear trend of temperature across East Greenland started as early as 1999. The rate of the negative linear trend has gradually increased from its initial negative rate for all the steps of longitude examined. The Younger Dryas, a similar abrupt cooling event to that projected, took place in Greenland around 12,500 years ago. It had global impacts. Based on those initial points, we can make further observations. We focus on the role of 65 degrees north latitude in helping to trigger further glaciation. And as previously asked, is such a process currently taking place in Greenland? Is the cooling of 65 degrees north latitude spreading and impacting other parts of Greenland? It has spread as far north as 70.5 degrees north latitude and as far east as 25 degrees west longitude. It has spread even further north to 72.5 degrees latitude and as far west as 38.4 degrees west longitude. And from January 2016, it has gone yet further to the west at 46 degrees west longitude and as far south 
as 60.7 degrees north latitude. The start date of that location triggered a further thought. What if we scanned using a start date of January 2016 instead of 2015 and extended the scan to 50 degrees west, which covers the vast majority of Greenland? At 65 degrees north, 50 degrees west, there was indeed a negative trend from January 2016 of minus 1.6 degrees Celsius per decade. At 70 degrees north, 50 degrees west, there was a negative trend rate from January 2016 of minus 1.63 degrees Celsius per decade. So, to answer our question and finally conclude, the cooling of 65 degrees north latitude from 50 degrees to 20 degrees west longitude is gradually impacting and cooling all the Greenland ice sheet. A negative linear trend of temperature across East Greenland started as early as 1999 at 65 degrees north, 30 degrees west. As a reminder, a negative linear trend of temperature across West Greenland started from 2016 at 50 degrees west longitude from 65 to 70 degrees north latitude. The Younger Dryas, a similar abrupt cooling event to that projected, took place in Greenland around 12,500 years ago. It had global impacts. Again we state, it is right to be cautious about projections, but the cooling of the Greenland ice sheet must throw at least some doubt on the projections of the United Nations 2030 agenda, and bring even greater doubt to the intention to accelerate the implementation of the 2030 agenda. So, we end with a question addressed to the Board of Trustees of the World Economic Forum. Will you be considering the cooling of Greenland and what this means to your projected Agenda 2030 schedule? When you meet at your annual meeting in Davos, January 2023. Our community combines the topics of globalism, nationalism, climate change, health and the new world order. If you would like to join our community, you can find us on locals.com slash discover. Just enter the new world order. This link will take you directly to our site.